So it's late now, it's like quarter to one on Sunday night, and I uh, <coughs> just got back to my room. I went over for a quick coffee with one of my friends, and it turned into a long uh, conversation about the world and everything in it, and you know, as, as it does, but I'm always appreciative of it, and it's the reason why I've enjoyed Res so much, is because of the amazing people you meet. I did manage to get my meal prep done there, got like a fuck ton of rice for the week, got butter nuts, I'll cook the gem squash later, got a whole lot of chicken pieces, I ate a steak. Um, it's going to be a good week of eating, but I know I'll still be hungry by the end of it. Alright, off to bed. See you in the morning for the start of a new week. Off to campus, Monday morning, going to maths. Going to be a nice day today. I'm starting my training for the 947 today with a nice hour cycle at the gym. Washed up, don't want to believe it. Yes, lunch time boys, we're about to sit in in a digital systems lecture. Todd is also here, how was the weekend? Good, relaxed. You do lots of work. Yeah. Tell the vlog what you're doing with your, your life work-wise nowadays. Yeah, I've got a job, yeah, I'm a working man. What are you doing? Coding. For whom? For whom? Uh, technically for Chris, but not really. Yeah. It's so cool man, yeah. I'm so jealous. Smart friends we got you hey? I am uh, just heading back to class now for Venia Systems. Just been to the gym for an hour, cycling, getting ready for that 9 for 7. But look, it's October so it's finally that time of year when all the jacarandas are in bloom. Beautiful. Don't want to believe it. Tough love, you take it all Also another great thing about the Fitbit that I've really been enjoying is the sleep tracking. Um, so it's, you need like a premium account or something to see what your heart rate is throughout the entire night. Um, but it's so cool to be able to see just, you know, your REM sleep, your light sleep, your deep sleep and that, that the watch has picked up and that. And I'm sure they've had neural nets and uh, AI algorithms and that to detect like based on the motion of your wrist what phase of sleep you're in. But it seems to be pretty, be pretty accurate and it's accurately measuring how much sleep I've got. As you can see here, um, end week didn't sleep a huge amount. So it's a solid six hours every night. I can't really function on less. Um, but it's just so interesting to see all these normal things that you, um, that you don't think about in your day-to-day -day life, um, but that impact your day and your experience of life so much, like your sleep. Um, is fundamentally changes your entire outlook on life. If you're not sleeping properly, you're going to have a miserable day every day. And so it's so interesting actually to see like the quality of your sleep, to see a metric, a scientific measurement of it, and then you know, judge that against how you're feeling about your day and your life. And I'm just really enjoying um, working and seeing some of the stats about myself and my body and that for the first time and like correlating it to my behavior and how I'm experiencing every day. So yeah, off to bed now. Mm. That's so cute. Yeah. So I heard you went for a cycle this morning. Before class even? Yeah. 
before everything, before the sun even. That's beautiful. I heard your coffee machine early. Yeah. Uh, where'd you go? Is it uh, good? I can show you. Yeah. Edit. We're in maths, but maths is not fun, so Nick is telling me about it. Cycle. Oh, beautiful. Strong book to mesh. Look at those legs! Yes! Oh, it's been a long day, lots of work. Just sitting here indulging in a blueberry muffin. All of the boys are on their phones, and we're gonna do a nice cinematic flyby now. Yes! <laughs> Ryan, how are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. Myself, oh, Mitch, it's uh, great. <laughs> Let me touch my leg. training legs, just this is really sore. Um, I was playing frisbee with Mike and Paul and Flo and Myron and Dale and a friend last night and managed to score a beautiful sliding touchdown that's making today's work out of a bit difficult. But good stuff. I'm here with, I'm here with Chris early in the morning. How are you today, my boy? I'm actually feeling good, eh? I heard you stayed up to a ridiculous time last night. 420, boy. Why? I don't know, it just got lost in the, in the circuitry, eh? Yes. It's what, in, what true graft sounds like. But we've been getting our marks for Inge Week back slowly, and they've actually done really well. Got a 69 for stats, uh, 60 for digital systems, and a 47 for ELI, for linear systems. So that could be a lot better, but I mean, We'll take what we can get and uh, setting myself up nicely for all of the exams. Actually, I'm gonna have a really good chance of passing them all this time, which is great. How's Dale? I'm good in here. Look whom it is. It's Darren. Hello. Hey, hey. Darren and I just went to look at an apartment for next year because we are getting a place together. Yes. I don't think the vlog has seen your new hair yet. Oh, yeah. Car lavish. Wow. Yes. No, I was going to do a nice like cinematic turnaround. <laughs> there we go. And back to class now. Well, to the study center to work on ERS Prac 3. What yeah. are you doing now? No, I finished practically for ERS, it was really easy. So, Full of um... shit, you don't even take ERS. <laughs> she does come to the lectures occasionally though because she misses computer engineering so much. No, that yeah. is not the reason I come to the lectures. Oh no, it's... We're back in the study center once again working on Prac 3. Johanna's done a sterling job over there so far. Steph and I have just been testing some wires and some gates. The aim of this practical is to kind of invent a ping pong game using a whole lot of LEDs. Um, Want to say anything to that? Anything interesting? Um, not really. I don't know. We'll, uh, tune into the next episode to find out if we actually managed to do that. Yeah. We suppose we'll be the next. If we episode. don't die in the process. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's going well. This is our last prac. Last chance to get some marks before the semester. Hey, what's up? It's Thursday night now. Um, the student diet has returned. This is just some brown rice and some gem squash and some baked beans and some chicken sausages that I bought from the shops because I knew I was going to run out of meat this week. <sighs> Got a um, signals touch tomorrow. Um, it's going quite decently. Kind of understanding what's going on. Some of this was in the semester test that we wrote that I got 
47.4, so a bit more work to do. But um, yeah, I've been calculating my exam entrance and that for all of my subjects, and I've actually really set up nicely for most of my subjects. Like, I'm going to need the sub minimum to pass the module, except for signals, but even that I'll need like 48 in the exam, which is really nice um, for a change. Um, we're busy working on our signals and digital systems practice at the moment as well. They're due next week. Friday and the following Monday, respectively. There's a lot of work to do, so even when I go home this weekend, I'll be working on those. And yeah, it's everyone is feeling that time of year. It's the time of year when no one wants to be here. Everyone wants to go home. Everyone's tired of varsity and working. Um, but we're still going. It's only the 10th of October. Still got like a month and a half until exams are over. And yeah, just carry on. Washed up. Don't want you believe. Take it or leave